state funding. My plan is to build my fusion energy lab in Minnesota, just west of the Twin Cities, perhaps west of Chaska or somewhere along the corridor leading out to Monticello. This would be a significant benefit for the state of Minnesota. I would like a grant from the state of Minnesota that would enable me to purchase an acceptable property and start the first phase of construction. That would include the temporary office, maybe part of the main office and part of the central lab just to get it started. I will also need help with zoning of the property. Obviously, I would then need specific legislation for my situation that would enable me to legally operate a fusion energy research and development laboratory here in Minnesota. Now, if the politicians in Minnesota are not interested, I would also consider a location just across the border in Wisconsin, perhaps in the area just east of Hudson. Federal funding. Obviously, my most important potential source of funding is from the federal government. From them, I would like three stage grants. Stage grants are fair. I would need to prove myself, my physics, and my engineering for each stage. In addition, at the federal level, I would then need specific leg legislation that would enable me to legally operate a fusion energy research and development laboratory in the United States. I would need specific legislation that would direct the NRC to rapidly develop specific reg regulations, both for fusion in general and for any special regulations that would apply to my specific situation. Energy companies. At this time, it makes sense for energy companies to sign provisional manufacturing licenses with me. So far, none have. As you might now understand, I wanted to finish this film before I approached them. Licensing fees will be based upon experimental milestones. There would be smaller fees before proof of concept and larger fees afterwards. SES ring companies. There are companies that make superconducting energy storage rings. It would be in the best interest of these companies to support my research with significant contributions. Obviously, any and all monetary donations are great, but from these companies, technical assistance and equipment would be more important than money. At some point, my lab is going to need at least one SES ring to start experimenting with. At some point, my scientists will need expert technical assistance on all of the engineering details of these devices. At some point, my scientists will need to work with these companies to design and develop SES rings that are engineered specifically for these fusion power plants. At some point, for every $100 million spent on fusion power plants, maybe $50 million will be spent on SES rings. If my fusion power plant designs work, then the manufacturing of SES rings will become a trillion dollar industry. Investors. At this stage, I am not seeking investors for my fusion energy lab. At this stage, I have physics, engineering, and patents. While that is all great, before a fully developed in innovation is ready, experiments and tests are required. This is the stage for government grants, not private investors. I recommend interested individuals follow my progress. If you are an impatient potential investor and would like progress to speed up, then all I can recommend is that you make a financial donation through my website. I recommend that potential investors watch for results after each of my proof of concept experiments. If they prove successful, then it will have major financial implications for some companies that sell stocks. Therefore, potential investors may wish to research companies that have signed provisional manufacturing licenses with me. If I can get my lab funded, then it will have a website that lists all companies that have signed contracts to license any fully developed innovations. Licensed manufacturers. If my power plant designs work, I will receive royalties from two sources, licensed manufacturers and power plant operators. At some point, when a licensed manufacturer signs a contract 
to build a fusion power plant for one of their customers. Initially, this will probably be a utility. Then, the licensed manufacturer will pay a royalty based upon the rating of the power plant. For example, the licensed manufacturer might pay a royalty of one or two dollars per kilowatt. Obviously, these royalties could become significant. Keep in mind, this first requires fusion power plant designs that work. In such a case, this type of royalty would be fair. Electrical utilities. At some point, when a particular commercial fusion power plant becomes operational, the owner, typically a utility company, will pay a royalty based upon the units of energy generated. The percent would be small. For example, it would probably fall in the range of two to four tenths of a percent. However, over time, these royalties would add up. Keep in mind, this first requires fusion power plant designs that work. In such a case, this type of royalty would be fair. State operating licenses. I need funding for my fusion energy lab. At this stage, the ideal type of funding is a federal level grant. Prior to, proof of concept that doesn't make sense to sell stocks. After proof of concept, it doesn't make sense either. Thus, I have no plans for selling stocks. Yet, I still have a number of other funding options. For example, I'm considering selling state operating licenses. This option has pluses and minuses it involves a significant upfront legal cost. These licenses would be sold or auctioned before my lab would be built, thus before the big proof of concept experiment could be performed. After proof of concept, they would not be needed. There would only be one license for each state. These licenses presume eventually electric companies will be paying substantial royalties for operating my fusion power plant designs. Each month, the owner of the state operating license would receive a significant percentage of the utility royalties from their state, or if they've purchased more, their states. If this interests you, then you can send me an email if you want to. At this time, I have had no feedback on what people think of this idea. Is it a good idea? I don't know. However, let me emphasize, this is not an offer. At this point, this is only hypothetical. If at some time I do decide to go with this type of funding, then I will hire legal counsel to work out the details. Then the information will be posted on my website and will be emailed to anybody that has already expressed an interest in this. In November 2006, at an American Nuclear Society conference in Albuquerque, New Mexico, I met key executives from a number of companies that are interested in building fusion power plants. The biggest company was General Electric. As you are probably aware, they are widely known for their expertise at building power plants. They have a large nuclear division. Over the years, they have built many nuclear fission power plants and huge numbers of non-nuclear power plants of all types. I also talked with a number of people from General Atomics. They are obvious. They have an energy group and they have always been leaders in fusion energy research. They are also known as experts at making fusion fuels. My fusion energy lab will need to purchase fusion fuel pellets from them. They have key patents technology, and expertise for making fusion fuels. I bet eventually General Atomics will become something like the fusion industry's oil refinery, kind of like a fusion fuel refinery. In other words, there's a good chance that when utilities are operating their fusion power plants, they'll be getting their fusion fuel from General Atomics. This will be an interesting change Instead of seeing trains with hundreds of carloads of coal pulling up to coal power plants, 
we're going to be seeing individual delivery trucks delivering fusion fuel to the power plants. I met people from Hitachi in their power systems division and from Mitsubishi from their nuclear energy systems department. I never met anyone from Westinghouse, but I imagine they might also be interested in building fusion power plants. In the past, they were involved in building nuclear fission power plants. Perhaps they were not at the nuclear conference because their energy programs are not doing well. I really don't know what problems they are having, if any. From my point of view, I just can't imagine how any major energy company will remain major if it is not involved in fusion. I had lunch with a nice man from Rolls-Royce. They build nuclear propulsion systems. I know they are interested in building fusion propulsion systems for military ships and subs and for commercial ships. Companies like these big energy companies already have large departments with professionals that know how to build nuclear power plants. They want to build them. They have been waiting to build them. Not one of these companies has publicly acknowledged building a single commercial fusion power plant yet. They have invested millions with the idea that someday they will. Companies like these are also well positioned to raise the large sums of capital that will be required to build thousands of these fusion power plants. I can visualize companies like these will license my commercial fusion power plant designs within a specific megawatt class and then re-engineer them the best way they see fit. That is a brief description of just some of the existing companies, at least the companies that you might naturally expect would want to license my designs. However, as you might expect, there are many individuals out there that would love to form their own new energy companies. They want to compete with the energy giants. Thus, the existing energy companies are not that secure. You can be certain that there will be a large number of companies that will want to build commercial fusion power plants. In foreign countries, it is likely that hundreds of new energy companies will be formed. The first companies will be the first to invent and patent key components, things like the specialized control circuits. Believe me, this is a situation where it will pay to be a leader.